What's up, guys? Let me talk to y'all today about reps and why every rep counts. Every rep definitely counts, guys. It doesn't matter if you're striking. It doesn't matter if you're lifting weights. It doesn't matter if you're grappling. The techniques you do, the, the rep repetitions you do matter. That's what counts. That's what builds muscle memory in your body. That's what allows you to be able to hit these moves when you can't even think, when you're so tired, when you can't think, when things are moving fast and you're in a fight. Every rep counts. I remember years ago, George St. Pierre was talking, or I mean, uh, Chel Sonnen was doing on his, on his uh, channel, he was doing a video about George St. Pierre, and he was talking about how he makes sure every rep is perfect, the details are perfect, his foot is placed in the right position, his hand is placed in the right position. Um, the reps matter. And the, how you do the reps matter. The technique matters as, as far as drilling technique. Another example I was using is just working out in general. So after, um, I was using this example with my students the other day, and um, I was doing the math on it, and I was saying, saying hey, that's, that, that's a lot of reps if you add it up. Monday, Wednesday nights, we have wrestling class. And at the end of every wrestling class, I make them do 30 pull-ups. I tell them to do three sets of 10. So... Um, 30 pull-ups twice a week, Monday and Wednesday nights, 52 weeks out of the year, you're doing, it's like 3,100 and something pull-ups. So in one year, you've already had over 3,000 reps. Um, you add that up over about a three and a half year period, you're looking at your 10,000 reps of doing a pull-up. So if you're, you know, I believe pull-ups are really good for grappling. It makes you really, I feel like the whole concept of grappling it, offensively, like trying to take people down is pulling them and keeping them tight to you. And pull-ups, I feel like, are one of the best exercises you can do for that. So I make my guys do it. And after doing the math, we're talking 10,000 reps in three and a half years. So you don't think if you did 10,000 reps in three and a half years, how much stronger you're going to be? It's going to be significantly stronger. And this doesn't have to be done every day. You don't have to do, you know, 500 or 100 even pull-ups every day. T two days a week, 30 pull-ups for three and a half years and you've already did your 10,000 reps where, where most people, um, most people don't do that. It, it takes them 10 years to do 10,000 pull-ups. Um, or they don't do them at all. Um, every rep matters guys, every rep matters. And you're also going to find something to prepare yourself for, but, but not to get frustrated. You just have to, you know, treat it like a reality. You got to treat the world the way it is instead of the way you wish it was. Right. There's a lot of guys that come into the gym that are super athletic, that, that learn faster than others, that can, somehow can pay attention, their muscle memory, everything everything is on, on, tr on track with these people and they, they just learn faster, they're able to do move, moves faster and everything like that. So they say 10,000 reps is the sweet spot and I don't know if that specific number is or not, but a lot the more reps the better. And um, these people are going to come in and they're going to, let's say you drilled an anaconda choke. So that's one of my, one of my go-to moves that I show a lot of my fighters because I, I feel like it works really good in actual fights. Let's say you drilled an a, a, a anaconda choke, 10,000 reps. Well, you're going to be really good at that move. I, I think, I know for a fact that I have over 10,000 reps of drilling that move. And I'm really good. Anaconda, Doris, Guillotine, those three moves, I'm really good at those three moves. And I have probably 10,000 reps over, over each one of them. Like I probably have 10,000 of each. And you're going to run into people in the gym and it's going to be very frustrating because there's people in the gym that could probably do 3,000 reps and be as good as you are at doing 10,000. There's special people that walk in the gym all the time. You know, you know, I mean, they don't walk in all the time. They're, they're still rare as well. But there's people that come into the gym that can do something 3,000 reps, and that's almost equal as you doing it 10,000. Now, does that mean you just don't, you don't, you don't do it because it's not fair, or do you decide to, to quit fighting? Because either way, the reps got to get done, whether you want to do it or not. And you're going to run into these athletes, these special people that honestly, they don't have to work as hard as you. And it's frustrating. And that could be anything. They, they don't have to work as hard drilling. They don't have to uh, maybe hit the bag as much as you. But you have to do what you can do. And, and you can always do more reps. It's that simple. You need to do as many reps as you can. And with perfect technique, I would say do less reps and do them right than I would more reps mediocre. So don't get in the habit of even whether it's a basic round kick, you're drilling a round kick over and over. If the technique is, is, is bad, it's pointless. So make sure you're drilling your reps. Make sure you're doing, you're doing more. 
you're doing more than everybody else because you don't know if you're one of those people. Most There's some people come to the gym and you can tell, hey, this person's a freak athlete. This person's special. The, unfortunately, that's the way life is. So you might not be able to be able to do and pick up stuff as fast as they can but you should be there's no reason why any fighter in the gym should be letting anybody do more reps than them that was something that that i took very serious coming up and i felt like i worked really hard because of that especially when i started late in life i didn't start training till i was 20 years old i didn't start grappling till i was 22 years old and i so at 22 years old is the first time i ever did a jiu-jitsu class and i have three submission wins in the ufc um I'm not the most athletic dude, I promise you. I was always decently strong because I built my my athletic foundation at an early age. So I was pretty strong in grappling, even though I was skinny, but just because I, I lifted when I was younger in, in middle school and high school quite a bit. But um, as a whole, I caught these people because of reps. You can do more reps in one year than someone else does in five. And... Um, and that's how you catch these people, people that have been training longer than you, people that or or people that even start the same as you. you you're going to go through a phase of you keep drilling these reps, whether it's in, in no matter what what uh, sport it is in, in combat sports, whether it's um, uh, fi uh, boxing, wrestling, jujitsu, judo, um, what kickboxing, Muay Thai, Taekwondo, it doesn't matter if you do more reps. You're gonna you're gonna surpass a lot of people that, that are that are start at the same time as you, and you'll eventually even pass people that started before you. So something to think about, guys. Every rep really does count. It, it matters the, the the effort you put into it and the technique as well. All right, guys. Um, if you're new to martial arts and you're looking for a guide to find a gym near you, get my book, The Ultimate Guide to Choosing Your Martial Arts School and Instructor. Link is in the description below. And uh, you got any more questions or anything you'd like me to talk about? Leave a comment below. Thank you, guys.